Hello, Internet. Uh, I'm here with another uh, short time-lapse video. This is for a Poppy Seed Pets update that I made. If you're not familiar with Poppy Seed Pets, uh, it is a browser-based game that I run. Um, it's a pet game. It's been online for a few years now. Uh, I've been kind of on and off it recently. I've been working on other projects. Uh, but just earlier today, at the time I'm recording, I released an update that added a whole new feature. And I thought mainly for the benefit of Poppy Seed Pets players, I would kind of run through the code, show the changes, you know, give a behind the scenes look of how this game that maybe you play works and is built. Uh, and if you don't know about Poppy Seed Pets, I don't know, it's like a free little ad and just general coding content. Maybe you're interested to see how a web application like this is put together. Uh, uh, also to let you know, I've got kind of this Tuesday, Saturday schedule of videos going on. This video isn't gonna, I don't know, mess with that schedule or replace one of those videos. This is totally an addition. Uh, you probably noticed because this was released on a weird day. So anyway, let's hop into it. Um, right off the bat here, I'm jumping into some code. So the feature is there are these moths in the game uh, and they don't have a lot of use. There are actually a lot of bug items in the game. There's like centipedes and ants and I forget what else, cockroaches, all these bugs. And they can pop up in your house. My initial intention was that they're kind of like the weeds of, um, oh no, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, the happy island where you have fruit trees and no one else has them. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, weeds grow and you and you log in and then you have to... I'll never be able to remember the name while I'm under pressure like this. But anyway, uh, that was kind of the initial concept. There are these items just kind of pop up and you throw them out and like whatever. But inevitably over time I've added more things to do with some of the bugs, but not all the bugs. And moths are the one that there's really nothing to do with and people have called it out and been like, how come I can't do anything with all these bugs? Um, so yeah, I wanted to do something for moths specifically. Moths are associated with the moon. You can see me doing some moon phase logic here. And the concept was uh, send a bunch of moths all at once to the moon and you'll get something. I don't know, depending on how many go out, you have a better chance of success. Uh, you can also see that what I'm working on here is a better chance of success based on the phase of the moon. Um, I haven't at this point in coding uh, figured out kind of the theming of the thing beyond mods in the moon. I a little bit later asked ChatGPT <laughs> kind of to, for some ideas for some, some things from mythology. Uh, but you can see the general mechanics in that. Uh, this is a markdown document on the left, upper left there, that, that I just exposed a little more. Those are kind of the, me the mechanics I'm thinking about. Um, so this is, it's kind of an older project. This was just on the edge of when I was kind of done making anything in PHP, uh, the back end more. Um, C sharp. So there's a PHP API in the back end, uses Angular for the web app. Uh, but I should probably talk about this image I'm making. So this is going to be the liquid ozone, uh, which I was trying to think, you know, the, the moths are on the way to the moon. And the story, as I understand it so far, is that they might not make it. <laughs> and so what, what, is, what else is, is there that isn't in space? Oh, there's the upper atmosphere. There's the ozone. So I thought liquid ozone um, would be an interesting thing. And, and I was um, streaming developing this. Actually, I think it was one of the people watching who suggested ozone specifically. I can't quite remember the sequence of events. Um, but anyway, you can, yeah, you can see me tweaking things here. I decided it would be more exciting if it was on its side. I had some bubbles and things later as well. Um, but yeah, I wanted it to look, I don't know, interesting, uh, even though my art style, as you can tell, not the super coolest and not the super best. I'm not, I would not call myself a skilled artist. <laughs> there are uh, a particular kind of graphic that I'm capable of drawing, but for the most part, uh, you know, it's some basic stuff that I draw. I make do. Um, <laughs> so anyway, where was I about? Oh, well, this is also embarrassing. So for a while, I'm like, oh, that's O2. That's what oxygen in the air is, but not ozone. Ozone is O3. I eventually do realize this mistake and, and fix it, thank goodness, before releasing. <laughs> that would have been kind of embarrassing. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, so the, I was talking about back end, front end before. So yeah, the server that, and you're probably familiar with this if you played any kind of multiplayer game, right? You've downloaded a client maybe for, I don't know, World of Warcraft or whatever. In behind the scenes, you know that there's a server that this thing is talking to. And Poppy Seed Pets in that regard, we, there's a similar architecture. There's a server on the back end. Here I am realizing that Ozone is O3. Uh, there's a server, <laughs> which is the quote unquote back end. Um, and that's where I was kind of starting with this up until I made this graphic of, um, you know, the logic for how, what's going to happen when you send these, um, these mobs out. 
I wanted to know the effects of breathing ozone. That's why I was Googling quite there or eating it. I was like, isn't it not like, isn't, is that toxic or something? It kind of is. It's not great to uh, breathe in a lot of O2, but we're not going to worry about that because poppy seed pets are magical creatures or maybe alien creatures. The story is a little unclear, kind of intentionally. Um, they can eat ozone. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, anyway, as a, oh, yep, asking chat GPT for some uh, name ideas there. Oxidizing, great. Um, anyway, so yeah, you, you see me using here this tool, PHP Admin. This is a database viewer, a classic, I don't know, old, but, but I don't know, oldie but goodie kind of, I don't know. For, for the PHP development world, this is a very standard tool for browsing databases. Um, it isn't, I don't know. Again, if I was going to do Hopsy Pets over again, I wouldn't use PHP. I wouldn't be in the PHP world at all. Um, but, but it is what it is. And um, I don't know. There, I'm using a, a, a nice framework under the hood called Symphony. Um, so here, here I am asking ChatGPT for uh, ideas from mythology, looking for a story. It does end up making something up about this um, Chinese goddess, Cheng Yi. I don't know if she's properly a goddess. Um, I forget now. Uh, it did lie to me a little about the story, and then I was getting a little worried. It's like, man, I, should I really dip into a culture I, I don't know as much about? You know, but I was like, no, you know, let's 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 give some love for other cultures. It is more fun to. There's so many mythologies in the world, and I feel like. You know, you go to school and all they teach you is Greek and Roman. Um, but yeah, let's get some Norse. Let's get some some Chinese. Let's get some Japanese. Let's get whatever. There's, there's all sorts of cool stories in the world. So um, yeah, I went with it. Uh, this is me making another item again. Uh, my beautiful art. I'm making fun. Someone's going to love this. Uh, in, in the game, you can choose um, any of the items, graphics. You can make your avatar. And it is incredible to see the choices people make. Some people love graphics, I'm like, wow, yeah, it's, go for it, you know? I, I mean, my pick is probably random to some people, like, why are you a mango? Like, because mangoes are delicious. <laughs> but, you know, people, I don't know, people latch onto these different graphics. This graphic will be someone's favorite, I, I have no doubt, um, even if my graphical style is, is a little silly. I thought about making this a hat. Uh, didn't wasn't quite working, couldn't, couldn't qu quite get it to work to my satisfaction. Uh, I like to make as many items as possible be hats, um, just because it's another use. Um, and yeah, there's a special, so when, when you, so this is the, the item you'll get if your pets, or sorry, if your moths succeed at reaching the moon, then they will get this, this item, um, Chang'e's, I don't know if I'm saying that name right, um, Chang'e's love, and, uh, it has all kinds of bonuses, gives you crazy mad bonuses for a short time, um, including making your pet want to hang out more, and, um, do sexy times more, because that's an aspect of poppy seed pets, they do make babies. Um, and yeah, science and uh, magic skill. So here I am looking over the status effect icons. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't already something with a moon. There's already like werewolves and other things. You know, the moon is a big thing in mythology. There totally could have been a moon status effect graphic for all I knew. There wasn't, so that's why I made it. I also, I think at this point, I'm kind of looking through, trying to find out the language that I use. Yeah, for the status effects. I, I wanted to make sure to use the same language as other um, effects that do similar things you know, just to kind of to reduce the, the cognitive load on the player, right? You're like, oh yeah, I've seen that before. It's that effect. Okay. And there I am just looking at it, making sure that it looks good in the game. Um, my local, so I'm running this locally. This is a local copy of the game. Uh, you, you'll see my pets are all a funny pet um, species. I was testing that species. Um, well, anyway, yeah, so I've, I've made a tool that once I've made an item in the game, it outputs all the SQL needed to put that... Uh, you know, to deploy that change to the to the real server. Because again, I'm working locally on this, a local copy of the game. Um, so I've, I've made some tools to help me make content like that tool you saw for trying out hats. I also have a command line tool for giving me the commands that I need to, to put, you know, I've already done the work of putting the item in my local copy of the database. I don't want to redo that work. I might mess up. So I have tools to help me with this. Here I am now on the front end. So we're finally on the, the, the client program, you know, that you use through your browser. Uh, this is the UI. I copied another component. I don't know why, uh, but <laughs> I'm kind of, I haven't worked on Pop Seed Pets uh, to make a new feature in a while. I've been doing bug fixes. Uh, so I'm kind of, I, have, I don't know, it's not on the, on the, I don't know, it's not like at my fingertips like it used to be, some of the stuff. Um, so I, some of my workflow here is a little wacky. Um, but anyway, so I'm making that front end uh, code for, um, you know, letting you select the number of mods you're going to send. And you may have noticed funny little messages there that you'll probably never see. Um, you always have to, 
I don't know if, it, if it's possible for a value to, I don't know, like, like you should never reach that page of the zero mods, but I don't know, maybe some, maybe there's some bug and you get to that page in the zero mods. So I try to account for any kind of weird conditions that, that seem, I don't know, vaguely plausible. It's called defensive programming and that's a term you can Google. And, you know, you just want to make sure that if there's a bug in one place that it doesn't kind of have this cascading effect and then other things are falling apart because they assumed everything was going to work fine. So as much as possible in code, double check everything. Don't trust that the state of, of data is, is exactly perfect. Um, another term for that is uh, you want to accept as messy data as possible, but produce as clean data as, as possible. And that, that, there's various ways people phrase that. I don't think I'm phrasing it in the most common way. But, but anyway, things like that, just to, good practices to make sure you don't mess up. Um, so here I'm, yeah, again, working on the AI. Um, something I haven't done a lot in Poppy Seed Pets and I want to do more is to show you the exact like percent chances and numbers. A thing that people complain about in Poppy Seed Pets, and I think rightly so, is the randomness of the game. And it's it's not just that it's random, it's that you don't know how random, you don't know what you're getting into. Like, is it a 50% chance? Is it a 10% chance? Is it a 1% chance? You don't know. For some things, I think that's appropriate. For the pets, they're supposed to be kind of like living creatures that make decisions. I wouldn't want to tell you oh, this pet in this situation has a 20% chance of doing this thing, I think that would kind of, I don't know, destroy the, the lifelikeness of them, you know, just make them more like little robots and less like living creatures. Uh, but for other things, I think there's, there's plenty of things in the game where we could just give you the numbers. And, and this seems like a, a great opportunity to um, do that and say, look, here's what you're getting into. You're going to give it, if you pick this many mods, this is your percent chance of success, blah, blah, blah. I'm seeing a typo I made because, again, I'm not used to... It's been a while since I did Angular. Um, so here I am testing. I think, yeah, I had this bug that was driving me crazy for a while. Something was going on with the cache. And here I am looking in. It's like, what's going on? What's the data? Um, do I clear the cache? And I got this weird error message I'd never seen before. I tried Googling it. Um, <laughs> eventually, I think I stopped recording. I figured it out. Um, and I just needed to totally clear the Redis cache manually. I don't know why this command line thing didn't work. It should have just worked. Um, I've never run into this issue before. I don't know. I kind of want to be sassy and say, I blame PHP, but this has never happened before. This, this, this problem is bizarre. I don't know. Maybe my computer's in a weird state. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's taking a while here. Yeah, I'm still having the issue. Although now we're back. Okay, and I can see on the lower left Redis. So, so I've paused the video and uh, recording and come back and, and now resuming. I've solved the, the, the issue. Um, don't know what that long pause was for. Uh, yeah, I was having some trouble. I, I looked up how range inputs are kind of funky. That's a built-in, uh, sorry, built-in HTML thing. It's just an input type. It was not a very common one. I don't see it used a lot. And uh, indeed, Angular support for it seemed to be a little weird. I'm not using the latest version of Angular. Maybe they've made it better. Um, but I'm pretty recent. I'm, I think it's 14, maybe 13 or 14. I forget. And I think they're up to 15, maybe 16 now. So anyway, maybe they've fixed it. Who knows? Um, if I do something a little wacky there. So here I am lining up some math. I realized there was a potential, um, well, this is worth talking about. Something else, because there's this percent chance thing and um, half of the mods, every two mods you, you send out, you'll get one thing back. I really wanted to make sure that there wasn't an advantage for the player doing the annoying thing. Like, I don't want it to be better odds or better rewards if you send out 100 of them one at a time versus sending all 100 at once. Um, in, 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 for any of the particular aspects of, of this. Uh, you should always just feel free to do the most convenient thing to you, right? I don't want to make the game annoying. I don't want the optimal play to be annoying. So I played a little bit with the um, <laughs> looking for a multiplication symbol there. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I just want the game to reward you for doing the most obvious natural thing and not make you do weird stuff <laughs> just to gain a little advantage. So um, I was playing around with some math earlier there to that end. And then here, uh, often because I'm constructing these sentences, I need to make sure that things are grammatically correct. And as you know, if things are plural, you know, you'd say, I don't know, one moth uh, was successful, two moths were successful. So it's not just about adding S's at the end, it's was versus were and other things like that. Um, so while I was at it, I thought, wow, if you do send only a single moth and it does succeed, I can actually just do a totally funny custom message. It's probably not something anyone is likely to see. In fact, it's very unlikely by definition. Uh, but that kind of makes it more fun, I think, anyway. I like having little 
I don't know if that's an Easter egg or what, but it's, it's a unique bit of content someone might see. Uh, I play around with this UI a little more. I wasn't totally satisfied. I mean, the end result doesn't look great, like fantastic and beautiful, uh, but at least looks better than what it was before, I think, I hope. And you can see I'm testing it mobile with, I really tried to do mobile first for Poppy C Pets' design. Um, yeah, it should play good on a phone. That was not a mistake of my previous game, SciPets. SciPets was made before smartphones existed. <laughs> so I, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, fine. It, how would have it, it supported cell phones well when they didn't exist yet? Um, but yeah, it, it was really important to me that Poppy Seed Pets started in like 2018, I forget. Um, but anyway, it needed to work well for mobile. So I keep getting logged out. Um, Angular reloads your changes very efficiently, but sometimes so efficiently that then the back end and front end get confused and out of sync and then it thinks, ah, oh, you're not logged in anymore. Um, so sometimes it's auto reloading, hot loading um, is suboptimal in that way. It's way better than Blazor, which is another front end technology I use where the hot reload is almost never available, it seems. Um, but uh, yeah, whatever, everything, nothing's perfect. Um, so here I am, I think I'm trying to find an existing function for counting. Yeah, I had an issue with counting mods. I actually, after initial release, there was an issue where it wasn't quite counting your mods properly. Um, and so it would say you didn't have enough mods, even if you did. Uh, but anyway, I got that code mostly working here. And it, it just kind of flew by, I don't know, 30 seconds ago. But there was still another bug that I, I fixed uh, post-launch. It didn't take too long. Uh, thanks to people on the Discord for reporting that bug, by the way. Uh, it was wonderful. It's that is like my number one fastest way to bug catch bugs as people talk about it on the Discord server. Um, so anyway, it looks like I'm just playing around with the messaging more in case you don't get any loot. I, I hadn't kind of counted that through in a little alas, testing some things. What, what happened there? It looks like I had some 500, I don't know, but it looks like I got it fixed. Um, so yeah, here I am kind of testing out just that uh, when they feed, it works. Yeah, okay, I noticed that the status effect duration wasn't correct. It was accidentally set to 24 minutes instead of 24 hours. Um, that was another thing. I made that change, but you saw earlier I exported the SQL to add the item to the database. So I that had the bad number. So when I deployed it, I forgot to update it. Um, so that was unfortunate. Um, but that's it. <laughs> that's, that's the whole video. Uh, it is done. It is out. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope this was an interesting look at how the game was made. I, that went kind of crazy fast. Um, if you thought that, no, Ben, that was the perfect speed, or yes, that was too quick, or if you have other questions or, or things you wish I had hit upon that I didn't, uh, feel free to let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, this I feel like this video was really made for Poppy Seed Pets players, but again, it doesn't have to be. If you're like, no, Ben, I don't, I've never heard of Poppy Seed Pets, but I love that behind the scenes look. Again, let me know any kind of feedback. If this was good, if this sucked, happy to hear about it. Um, and to make more, I don't know, coding videos. I, I find coding personally so interesting, that's why I do it. I assume there are other people out there interested in programming. I've encountered a few of them, um, and I'm really interested in making stuff that, uh, that is helpful to other programmers in whatever way. That's why I make NuGet packages. Maybe I should link to those. Um, that's why I make these videos. That's why I make a lot of stuff. That's why I stream coding on Discord. Um, so, uh, yeah, happy to hear any feedback about that stuff. Uh, but I will leave it at that, and thank you very much, and goodbye.